The following is from the Melodramatics Podcast, where we discuss all things theatre and drama. So if you like theatre, stage, drama, films, check us out on Spotify, YouTube, and all the other streaming platforms that I'm not going to go through. So this week's question is, do you think it's okay for non-trans actors to play trans characters? Now, before you answer, Lauren, Mm -hmm. I put this on social media, and I have some of their answers. Would you like to hear it? Why not? Okay, so Daniel Adams says, yes, it's called acting. Jamie Alfred says, yes, just like a trans person should be able to play a non-trans person on the stage. If they have the talent, go with it. Rebecca Flair says, no. Y'all think. She literally wrote y'all. I love it. (laughs) So, no, y'all think acting exists in a vacuum because it could hypothetically be okay under circumstances. Doesn't mean it is. The industry is stacked against trans actors and people writing plays do not like trans actors. Therefore, we are representing a people without their input at all. Uh, Jane Kelly said, I think that most of the time the answer is yes, as long as it's done respectfully. That being said, if a trans actor also auditions and under the right circumstances, it should be equally given to that person. And at last, all of these are American. <laughs> Pam Brillian, as a trans person myself, I honestly do not care if an actor is cis playing a trans person, as long as they are representing us in an accurate, authentic way. So what are your thoughts on that? I don't see there being an issue with a non-trans person playing a trans character. I agree with that first person who said it's acting. You're, you're just acting like a straight person can easily play a gay person. Now, mm. I understand trans and gay is quite different. I don't think you should be choosing someone to act in a role because they are that identifier. They might it, they might relate better to the character, but at the end of the day, as a director, in casting your role is to choose the best person for the part. So if someone who's not trans comes up and auditions for the role of a trans character and then someone who is trans auditions for that same role but the person who isn't trans is better at the role, then I think it's fair for them to get it. If it's the other way around and the trans person is the better actor, cool, go for it. See, I'm in two minds about this. One side of me says it's acting and, as you said, like a straight person can play a gay person, a gay person can play a straight person. But at the same time, you wouldn't get a white person to play a black person. No. So, so there is different levels of where it is okay. Yeah. So we, like, we have to admit that, that it's okay for um, people to play different sexualities, but yeah. it's not okay for people to play different races. And I think that trans kind of falls in between where yeah. I can see equally why it's not okay mm-hmm. for a cis person to play a trans actor because they are um, underrepresented in the, um, in the theatre world. But at the same time, some productions don't have the opportunity to have a trans actor play a trans character. Yeah. Like, if I was casting a trans character, I would go for a trans actor. Mm-hmm. But if I couldn't find one, then, or I couldn't find one that, that met my vision, then I would have to go with a person who isn't trans. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it really rests on your shoulders as a director of what you're looking yeah. for and what you envision. And I guess your personal, not bias, but what you prefer. Yeah, and whether you prefer someone who is that sexuality or whether you're looking for anyone but they have a specific you have a specific vision of how you want the character to be. Yeah, and either way you're gonna to have to argue it. I think yeah. like you're gonna to have yeah. to, you know, defend your decision. 